TNK, Dolce Cabana, is een namaakmerk. Er zitten twee Australische dames achter. En zij samen onderzoeken wat een modemerk is. Dus ze spelen met een logo, ze spelen met een campagne, ze richten rechtjes in. En steeds opnieuw uh, willen ze duidelijk maken dat als je eenmaal een brand hebt en een logo, dan kun je eigenlijk alles verkopen. En met alles wat zij doen, proberen ze dat zichtbaar te maken. Wat is een modemerk? Waar bestaat het uit? En waar kun je al die lucht mee creëren? En deugt dat dan wel? Our main objective is really to um, find ways to critique fashion in a rigorous way whilst remaining within the discipline. Often uh, fashion is depicted within the museum as a singular moment, like a very a beautiful example of a garment. And that's often quite far away from the realities of a fashion practice. The, the base garment and signature is a t-shirt. And again, this is kind of at the bottom of the barrel, um, bottom of the food chain in terms of garments in fashion in related to mass production and fast fashion. But we've tried to really show this process of, and a questioning of, well, you know, there are, there are luxury and high fashion designer t-shirts that sell for, you know, $2,000. So this project is kind of questioning, well, what makes something, a t-shirt in this instant, take on this greater value? Um, we talk about all of the ideas together, but then our roles really split off into kind of different areas. Mercado really focuses on, I guess, the design. So we're constantly sort of thinking about how do we realize these ideas in mm. garment form? And then I'm constantly thinking about how, how do we then present these ideas to an, to an audience? So we do, we're, the whole point of this project is to be um, very inconsistent in how we put our message across, which is often the opposite of what a successful brand strategy should be. Um, but we're using this process of this over inundation of, of graphic design, of text, of image, to make a very unstable brand identity. The future of fashion is the understanding of personal identity in a world of highly commercialized identity and it's, I think it's a question of understanding the, the individual within the mass is also a lot about the future of fashion. <laughs>